So I'm going to take the quick change gearbox apart because the oil needs replacing and it's got so much gunk in it. So we need to drain it first. Uh, fill plug, drain plug, uh, and then there's some Allen key uh, cap heads and we'll drain it off and I'll come back in a bit. Okay, and done the plugs. That's a fill, that's a drain. I'm going to get into a, uh, just a drum. Yeah, I've, there's a problem for some reason with these quick change gear, but whether this was a, a lathe from a college, uh, I've seen it before where either they've been accidentally I don't know how, filled with suds or water. Um, this had it, I've seen other people where, I, I mean the first time um, I, I, I did this on one of these gearboxes, it was, it was more or less completely, this was full of just water. Um, that can't be condensation. Either it's malicious from, you know, the previous firm or people who owned it or some the operator but i've seen it before i've seen other people have it um they've just been full of water um easy way so you can see on this side glass if you look they get dark or creamy uh, and there's water or moisture in there so something to look out for if you ever look at one of these lathes is um just check and also what it will do is um, there's a bearing under here obviously you can't check when you look at one of these lathes but it, it will basically corrode the the bearings so just worth checking anyway we'll let that drain and I'll come back right um, four tiny little Phillips screws or star screws Take this plate off, go to unscrew this, the indicator lamp, for it to come forward. Take them off, that should stay in place behind. Anyway, I'll be back. Right, another quick mention you, you have to unscrew the ring on the stop to get this plate off, obviously. Unscrew it, and it will. It will pull, just be gentle with it, but you have to unscrew it, but it will pull um, to come out. Just be gentle. And then theoretically this plate comes off. That will stay in place. Obviously this face plate will come off, but you do need to take this off. Okay. Right, I'm gonna pop these caps off. I'll show you under there. These I think are, they are Imperial, so they are three, three sixteenths, three sixteenths. So there's um, six, yeah, six. I generally leave them all in a position, uh, either all to the right. I generally like to leave that sort of a neutral, if you like, but opposite your three and your four. Um, just because there's a slider, set of sliders under there, it's easy to, get it off right so these are uh, 532 Imperial Allen key just undo the cap it in the middle and they will just prise off gently they, they might be a little bit sticky depending on how many years they've been there but they, they just come off watch out there's a key in there watch you don't drop any bits Right, there's the uh, six, I call them cap heads. The, the two on the top are shorter. So that one and this one are shorter. All these are the same, but they're the longer ones. Just remember, so shorter ones on the top. Four long on the bottom. And then of course there's two dome hex Allen key heads here, which I think are 532 as well. This is just a sort of um, dust guard, dust uh, splash cover. So I'll take these out and them. 
Okay, so I forgot you um, you will have to drive out the little keys which um, sit in here because uh, they won't go past the bushing so you will have to just drive them out. Uh, just be uh, careful you don't they pop off and fly off so you will have to just pop them out and obviously this other cover I forgot there is a another screw there to pop that side plate off and it splits along here so okay I'll take them out okay so I have um, split these they are quite hard sometimes they may have been never open for 40 50 whoever knows years so um, you do have to just be very gentle just to pop them as you can see I have popped that because trying to do this in one hand is a bit awkward um, and then he will as you can see craps coming out of this already okay let's see if I And there you go. As you can see, typically what um, has happened is moisture. This one I know for a fact did have water in it. So, but yeah, there you go. So that's a Colchester student, 1800. Um, the quick change gearbox and we'll clean it out and come back when I put it back together. <laughs>